one. Nicely played. So another chance for Mark Selby. Yeah, the old cliche is all you want in a desire is a chance, but sometimes you want another chance. <laughs> We know he can do it. He's done it many times before in these tight finals. Six. But he also knows from the last frame that Martin Gould is in a very hungry mood and, and wasn't, or didn't seem to be affected by what happened in frame 15 when he missed that blue. Well, he's got choices here. Going into them, are playing for those two reds at the back of the pack. Eleven. Twelve. If he can leave himself low on this next red, he can open up the reds up. What kind of an angle does he have? 13. Not the best. 20. Managed to nudge another one out though. Got to leave an angle on the black this time to open those reds up. Twenty-eight. And that's just about right. All on the shot, you would think, if he lands on a red. It could be Mark Selby's title. Is he on one? He's not on an easy one. 35. Played it well. But now he needs a good pot here. Either the red to the yellow pocket or the red to the middle. The red to the middle looks the safest option. It's there. 36. And he's nicely on the black. Yeah, great chance to close it out. Martin Gould hoping for a twist in the tail. He's going to be 50 behind with this black. Yeah, strange old week for Selby. He had two walkovers, but he was also 4 1 down, of course, to Stuart Bingham in the last 16. Well, you just got to take your hat off to him. You? He just never knows when he's beaten. He fights to the very end and he's produced top class quality snooker and he's responded to everything that gold has thrown at him. Well, he's had to, as I say, he was 4-1 down to Stuart Bingham. Then he beat Ding Jun Wee and Sean Murphy. So when he finally got playing in this tournament after the buys, it was a very tough draw. This has been a very tough final. But it's in his hands. Forty-nine.
Yeah, not ideally on the next red. But still on it. Fifty. Was so disappointed at that semi-final defeat at the Crucible just last month to Ronnie O'Sullivan in a decider. But a new season second, offers new opportunities. And as the referee puts the pink back, Mark Selby knows he needs one more red. And Martin Gould needs snookers. Gould has played superbly in this tournament. He's played superbly in the final. And it's great to see him back in the big time, which is where he belongs. And he can use this as a springboard now for the rest of the campaign. He's going to go up 17 places in the world rankings 56. to 36. But he needs snookers. And Mark Selby is surely going to deny him the chance to play on for them. The master of brinkmanship looks like he's done it again. Sixty-four. It's been positive, hasn't he? All week, all day. It's good to see Selby going on the attack. Sixty-five. Yeah, it's when he's at his best, isn't it? When he's gone the attack. They've got to go in, of course, but, you know, he's taking the shots on. And like you say, he's been so positive. Well, this means he's won now. 72. The last 10 ranking event finals he's appeared in. That's some record. And it's the 10th season in a row he's won a ranking event. 72 then, in the decider, Mark Selby closes it out, a terrific battle, Martin Gould more than played his part, but it's Mark Selby who wins his 18th world ranking event, he's won the European Masters 9-8. You need to collect the winner's medal, the prize money of £80,000, the trophy and the title of 2020, Bet Victor, European Masters champion, Mark Selby!